hair so hair is one of those topics that no matter whether you're a woman or a man or whatever you want to call yourself you will find interest in that topic at least once in your lifetime and will just truly find yourself investing your time and money for that topic now if you have clicked on this video there might be several reasons why hair matters to you aesthetics and self-expression social and cultural norms beauty standards health and well-being emotional attachments and so on you can literally name anything else but knowing the amount of information that is thrown at us today regarding the hair topic can get us to feel a bit lost and a bit out of control leaving us losing the basic knowledge of hair and its basic health therefore for today's video i have relied on the one and only god and the one and only andrew huberman yes again andrew huberman who is a very popular scientist and public figure around health and longevity topics on social media so what i did was that i gathered the most important bits from his podcast on hair where he basically explained the basic knowledge of hair what is hair how it grows and which ways can actually help help the hair to grow at a normal phase, maybe to slow down the shedding of hair. And he even spoke about different ways that could help you to stimulate the new growth of hair on your scalp. So understanding these methods is really important to know when it comes to choosing the right procedures or products for your hair. So make sure you stay till the end. So hair growth is a common concern for many people. And it's really important to understand that at the rate at which your hair grows depends on many various aspects, such as genetics, overall health, or age. However, there are several practical ways you can help promote the hair growth and just overall maintain the health of your hair. The first thing that is really important to understand when it comes to growing your hair naturally and promoting the hair growth is the most important hormone the growth hormone so this hormone plays a huge role in different tissues of your body when it comes to development including your hair our bodies naturally produce this hormone throughout our whole life right with peak levels especially a cure when you're a bit older so at this time, the rate at which your hair grows is the highest. However, as we age, the growth hormone declines, you know, within the age, which can actually contribute to slower hair growth and the thinning of hair. But there are ways you can naturally stimulate the growth hormone in your hair. So what Huberman highlighted in his podcast about this hormone was to sleep enough hours and try to go to bed at the exact time since the growth hormone is made in the two first hours of your sleep, especially if you haven't eaten anything two hours before bed. My name is Kendall. And of course, there are many other ways you can stimulate the growth hormone like exercise, overall good nutrition, consuming protein before bed, managing stress, and other many holistic ways. But I think it's really important to know that even though these methods you know, are helpful, the results may differ on every single one of you. Maybe you're lacking some nutrients and that's the case. So I feel like if I were in your shoes, I would first talk to my doctor and see what I can do about it. So the second, which was a bit of a shock, it was like a bit of a shock to me was caffeine apparently it does more things rather than just giving us energy so actually caffeine has gained a lot of attention during the years on hair growth so what huberman mentioned in his podcast was that caffeine can actually decrease or maintain hair loss reducing the hair loss over time but it does not create new hair growth <laughs> So what caffeine does, it actually stimulates the hair follicles on your scalp and it also improves the blood circulation. So caffeine is known to have a vasodilating effect, which means it can widen blood vessels and improve blood flow. Enhanced blood circulation to the scalp may deliver more oxygen and nutrients to the hair follicles, promoting healthier hair growth. So basically what you wanna do, you wanna look for different hair ointments that include caffeine in it. And what Huberman suggested was to apply the ointment at least three times a week. But of course, like everything depends on the dosage. So the third thing, which I thought was really important is sufficient iron levels. So iron plays a huge key role in the cell growth pathway that goes from stem cells to stimulation of keratin within the hair. So iron is an essential mineral that plays a significant role in hair growth and overall hair health. Iron deficiency, also known as iron anemia, can actually lead to hair loss and hair thinning. So adequate iron levels are necessary, are necessary 
for the production of hemoglobin, which basically carries the oxygen to the hair follicles and promotes the hair growth. So basically, if your body is low on iron, your body will prioritize to distribute the iron throughout other tissues in your body, essential organs that actually need the vitamin, which basically means that your hair is not getting it because there are other parts of the body that need it more. So this can actually disrupt the hair growth cycle and lead you to hair loss. So to maintain healthy iron levels, it's really important to consume a diet that contains enough of iron. So you basically want to have a diet that includes rich iron foods like meat, fish, leafy greens, lentils, beans, there's so many like there's so many foods that have iron actually. Additionally, consuming foods that are rich in vitamin C can actually help to enhance the iron into your body. So yeah, again, if you want to know your iron levels, just go and check in with your doctor because that then you will know, you know, if you need it or if you don't need it. So the fourth point, which is actually related to my last video, is that you have to try to be resistant to insulin or like avoid being resistant to insulin. Being insulin resistant or obese can actually lead to hair loss. So being insulin resistant means your body cells become less responsive to insulin insulin resistant is not linked to hair health directly so here are some few ways how being insulin resistant can actually help with your hair so first reducing inflammation so too much of inflammation or like elevated levels of inflammation can have a really bad effect on your hair follicles which can lead to again losing hair so by managing insulin resistant which you can do by you know living a healthy lifestyle eating clean foods exercising you're gonna create a really healthy environment for your scalp like this is gonna of course lead you to having better health for your hair second is balancing hormones so insulin resistance can actually like damage a lot of hormones and balance of it in your body so hormones like androgens and estrogen so hormonal imbalance especially if you have a bigger levels of androgens can lead to hair loss both in men and women so if you're gonna address the you know the whole insulin resistant issue you may help restore your hormonal balance which again will potentially benefit your hair so this curcumin curcumin i just call it turmeric but basically they said that curcumin is this active um, ingredient that is found in turmeric. So these are some potential benefits that you can gain from turmeric. So first, anti-inflammatory properties. So turmeric has really like a lot, a lot of anti-inflammatory properties, which are beneficial for maintaining the overall health of your scalp. Because if you have inflammation on your scalp, this can actually disrupt the, gr the growth cycle of your hair and actually contribute to different conditions of hair health like dandruff, psoriasis, and hair loss. Second is of course the hair growth, even though there's not a lot of evidence, curcumin has been suggested to promote hair growth. Yeah, so honestly, I chose specifically these methods because I found them the most relatable to our lifestyle and that's why I specifically chose these. I think these are the basics of hair and why it's important to understand how your holistic approach and your lifestyle can actually you know improve your hair and that if you won't follow like basic rules in your life uh, like sleep food nutrition exercise then don't expect to have glorious you know hair shampoos and different ointments can help but that's not gonna fix the issue from the inside so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you next time love you